Lake Mead's remarkable recovery, a sign of hope or a false dawn. Lake Mead, the largest reservoir in the United States, has shown a remarkable recovery in the past year. Just a year ago, it hit an all-time low of 1,040 feet, but by the end of July, its elevation had steadily risen to 1,061 feet, and it now sits at 1,063 feet as of August. This unexpected rise during a hot summer raises questions about the factors behind this turnaround, its implications for Lake Mead's future, and expert forecasts for its future elevation. Factors contributing to Lake Mead's recovery. The two primary factors contributing to Lake Mead's recovery are a robust snowpack in the Rocky Mountains and increased water releases from Glen Canyon Dam at Lake Powell. Robust snowpack in the Rocky Mountains. The Rocky Mountains are the primary source of runoff into the Colorado River, which feeds Lake Mead. This year, the region experienced a heavy snowpack, which melted gradually throughout the spring and summer, providing a steady flow of water to the reservoir. Increased water releases from Glen Canyon Dam at Lake Powell. Lake Powell, the second largest reservoir in the United States, is located upstream of Lake Mead. Despite its decreasing levels, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation continued to release more water to Lake Mead in an effort to stabilize its levels. Implications of Lake Mead's recovery Lake Mead's recovery offers some relief to the region, which has been grappling with a severe drought for several years. The reservoir provides water to millions of people in Arizona, Nevada, and California, and its rising levels will help to ease water restrictions and ensure a more sustainable water supply for the region. However, experts caution that Lake Mead's recovery is short-term and does not change the long-term outlook. Climate change remains a critical factor in the region's future, and it is likely that Lake Mead will continue to experience periods of drought and low water levels in the years to come. Expert Forecasts for Lake Mead's Future Elevation The U.S. Bureau of Reclamation's latest forecast predicts that Lake Mead will continue to rise, reaching an elevation of 1,065.59 feet by the end of September. However, the reservoir is still significantly below its maximum capacity of 1,229 feet. Experts believe that Lake Mead's future elevation will depend on a number of factors, including climate change, water conservation efforts, and the management of water resources in the Colorado River Basin. Climate change. Climate change is expected to have a significant impact on Lake Mead's future elevation. Rising temperatures are likely to lead to more evaporation from the reservoir, while decreasing snowfall in the Rocky Mountains could reduce runoff into the Colorado River. Water conservation efforts. Water conservation efforts in the Colorado River Basin are essential to ensuring a sustainable water supply for the region. If water users are able to reduce their consumption, it will help to offset the impacts of climate change and protect Lake Mead's water levels. Management of water resources in the Colorado River Basin The management of water resources in the Colorado River Basin is complex and challenging. Seven states and Mexico rely on the river for water, and each state has its own water needs and priorities. It is important to find a balance between the needs of the environment and the needs of water users in order to ensure the long-term sustainability of the Colorado River Basin. Lake Mead's remarkable recovery is a welcome development for the region, but it is important to remember that the reservoir is still significantly below its maximum capacity and that climate change remains a critical factor in its future. Continued water conservation efforts and effective management of water resources in the Colorado River Basin will be essential to protecting Lake Mead and ensuring a sustainable water supply for the region.